Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again, Men's Graphics here. And today I'll be showing you how to design an Instagram post using Photoshop CC21. So guys, let's get started. So guys, I'm in Photoshop. So let me go to File. Then I'll go to New. Then for my size, I'll go with 2000 by 2000 pixels. And I'll hit create. So, like I said in the beginning of this tutorial, this is a storytelling poster, and in the poster, I'm trying to pass a message that um that is about letting people have their freedom, or maybe letting a group of people express more of their freedom. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to place my background. This is a ground background that I downloaded online. Then I'll actually expand this by hitting out and shifting my mouse okay so i think i'm okay with this so i'll head over to um to camera filter to actually work on this background so for the background i'll increase my clarity then i'll increase my texture a little bit then i will take this back then i'll reduce uh, the whites I'll reduce the shadows. Then I'll work on the highlights a little bit to actually darken this image. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my presets and I'll go to um, sharpening, heavy. Then I think I'll go to vignette and that will be heavy too. So I'll press OK. As you can see, I've actually toned down this image a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place um, the image of the hand that I'll be using to show solidarity or I'll use to show like a cry out for freedom. So let me place this here. Then I'll still head over to Camera Raw to work on this image a little bit. Okay, I'll increase the clarity to add that extra texture. Um, I'll increase the texture a little bit. Then I'll go for sharpening, just like I did on the ground background. And I'll go for heavy. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my effect panel here. And I'm going to go to drop shadow. So, I can't see the setting right now because the image is dark, but I think I'll just go with this. Then, I'll duplicate this background and then I'll set the first one to, um, to hard lights. Okay. Then, I'll actually um, add some images to this um, to this image I have here, to this hand image. So let me just get this image of protesters I got online. Okay, I'll reduce this a little bit. And then I'll just place this here. Then I'll head over to my um, blending options. For my blending mode, I think it's blending mode. Then I'll head over to multiply. Then I'll take this up a little bit. Then I'll rasterize this. And I'll use my eraser to actually clear the parts that I don't want on the image. To clear out some parts. Then I'll add my second image right here okay let me add my second image right here okay so i'll reduce this and then i'll go over to multiply okay sorry okay so i'll reduce this a little bit sad okay this is so i think that's enough then it's okay 
then I'll rasterize then I'll grab my eraser again and I'll clear out the parts that I don't want to show on this image then I'll place another image by the side to, to actually add a little feel to this so let me just place this image and then this is just the part I need okay Rasterize once again, then multiply. Then I take out the parts I don't want. Okay, so I think I'm truly working on the hand. So, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, impute my tests. Okay, so that's the right. I'll just simply type freedom, freedom, then I'll select this and then I'll expand this to 72, okay, bring this down here a little bit, let me work on my character, okay, okay, I think I'm just looking for a suitable value to set this to. To set my track into so let me just set it to minus 75 then control a select all then i'll make sure i align it to the i align it to the center rather then i'll place this to the back of the hand okay so i'll bring this down a little bit and then i'll duplicate this over and over again Okay, I'm noticing that some parts of the image is still showing right here, so I'll just clean that part off using my eraser. Okay. Okay, so since I'm done with that, then I'll continue duplicating my tests. Okay. So, Ctrl G. Now shift it down. Okay. And I'm still not seeing some of the some of the parts of the image showing outside the place that I actually blended it. So I just use my eraser to work on that more. I clean that off. Okay then. Okay, I'm not done with this. Control G, bring it down, and then Control G, bring. It. I'll just duplicate this to the end because um, I'll try to be adding an effect to this test. So Control J, bring it down a little bit. Then with this, I can actually see the part of the image that has not been worked that, that has not been cleaned up actually. Okay, so I noticed that is this image, it's more of this image. Okay, not that one, more of this one that is spreading over to the whole place. So, okay, I think I'm wrong about that. So, let me just find the image that has that extra part. Okay, I've seen that. So, I'll just use my eraser to work on it a little bit. And then we have this. So, for the test, since I'm not, um, since I'm not using this test more like that, so I'll just select all of them and I'll just match put, uh, all of them together using Ctrl E. Oh, I think I made a mistake. Let me just head over. Okay, so then Ctrl E. The one I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this my um, layer with the blend mode uh, hard light I'll duplicate this then I'll place it on top of the test so as you can see the areas that are to the downside are more visible so I'll solve this by actually flipping the image okay so flip horizontal so it does meant to be flip vertical sorry so here you have it guys 
freedom. So, okay, so for this, I'll just create a clipping max so that it will show only on the test and not just on the background. So, I'll create a clipping mask. Okay, and here we have this freedom. So, for my um, let me just um write the quotes okay so let me just write um freedom is not much to ask it's not too much to ask too much to ask then i'll just write that uh, oh sorry okay anonymous okay so i'll select this head over to my character okay so let me work on this 60 okay so 57 okay, then centralize my test and then i'll reduce Okay, let me choose um public. Then I'll now control T and then we use this. Okay, I think I made a mistake in that right up. So let me just free down. So let me just make this straight. Okay. Align this to the center. Okay. Control D, then Control T. And I'll now size this. So let me bring this down. Okay. Okay. So, guys, this is how you design. The storytelling poster using Photoshop CC21. So, guys, thank you for staying to the end of this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and make sure to like this video and make sure to share it. So, guys, thank you once again for staying to the end of this video. See you in my next video tutorial. Mess Graphics out.